Will you look at that? That is the uh, low pressure filter from a Suzuki 250 fuel water separator, the one that's underneath your cowling. It is like so clean. I don't even see in between. I looked between all these pleats and I don't see like any blackness. And you know why? Well, start off. There it is right there. Today is the first time I changed it. I put January 2024 there. Today is the first time I changed it since brand new. And this is a 2020 engine. May of 2020. And it's now January of 2024. That filter right there is a bit of a bitch to get to and pain in the butt because everything's in the way but all you do is you take off these it's good to have duckbill pliers to grab these these type clips here pull your hoses off I mean unscrew it first pull your hoses off and this can be stuck and I know there's a pro tip but all I did was when I pulled this out, I used this ear right here, and I spanned with a big giant crescent wrench, held it, and then just took a pair of pliers and backed the bowl off, tilted it over, pulled the old filter out, threw the new filter in, screwed it back together, and put it right in there. But the same gas it had everything. I don't know if that's the proper way, but it's the Dave way. And the reason I'm even saying this is for the sheer fact that I sat and watched videos one after another about guys in their boats having bad gas. The one that really stuck out to me was the young guy, South Florida fishing or something, lives down the Keys, down there in La La Land, South Florida. Yeah, that's what it is, South Florida fishing or something. <coughs> His engine was running like crap. He figured he got bad gas. Well, he ended up going out and getting on Amazon. You can buy these big turbo double filters, single filters, big filter elements, and electronic fuel pump. And he pulled all the gas out of his tank and recycled it through these this big filter element. Just like if you ever heard of um, like gas tank cleaning or what they call fuel polishing, which is so weird, fuel polishing. But he went through all this big procedure and this big cost. And I, I mean, I mentioned it to him on his channel. I doubt he'll even care because nobody, nobody, you know, is going to take any advice from somebody who's commenting on their channel. I'm not even a subscriber. I don't give two hoots about fishing in the Keys. Um, I only been there once, but he went through all this whole dog and pony show to try to clean up his fuel. And there was one way that could have alleviated it all. Just like me not having to do this filter here, this fuel water separator on the front of my engine. I didn't have to do it for almost four years. I mean, it'll be four years in uh, May of 2024. So I had one laying around. So I just got done changing my oil, my gear lube, and everything so I figured okay I'll I'll tackle this so I put a new fuel filter in there low pressure fuel filter water separator but this young guy could have just alleviated everything he's probably buying this marina gas um, who the hell knows down there in the Keys you know 
So he got some bad, bad crap. If he just used this milk mister filter. See that right there? That's a green filter element. This is called the 8 inch or something. Um, the sticker's worn off. I've been using this since 2010 or something like that. This takes out all of the crap before you ever even get to your gas tank. My, I use this to fill up. I stick it in my, there's my, there's my gas cap right there. I sit it in there. And of course I fill with jerry cans because I, uh, no gas stations around here can I get in real easy without doing a lot of traveling. And I'm not putting up with these gas stations, so, you know, I use jerry cans. And there they are right there. So I've never really had any fuel issues, like bad fuel or anything like that. And plus, I use all non-ethanol. And every drop of gas that goes in this boat has gone through that green filter down in there which is, like I said, five micron. So it gets filtered five micron, goes into the tank. From the tank, goes through a MARPAC quick view filter. That's probably 20 micron. Then comes out of there and ends up going to there. And that's why that green little filter that I just showed you is not even dark. I could probably reuse this someday if I had to. I'm not going to buy another one. All these little parts are so expensive. There's this cheesy little thing right here. So this is the kind of crap that accumulates in this right here. Now I let this gas just evaporate. But see all those little particulates down in there? That's all stuff that the Mr. Filter has strained out from the gas pumps. I have seen metallic, brass looking pieces in it, everything. And that's from probably the actual pump itself. You're standing at the gas pump. You're filling up your boat or your jerry cans or your truck or your whatever. Little brass, minute little particles. I just changed the fuel filter in my 08 Dodge. I do that every two years because it's huge. It's a huge filter. So I do that every two years. But I got this on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page, which I'll put a link below. I've done so many videos about this, but it was so evident watching these videos of guys that are having fuel issues. Literally, the fuel has water in it, has trash in it, something. On my Amazon Tools of the Trade page, at the, the, in the description of this video, will be a link to this one. Now you're not pulling up to a gas station and just full bore firing it down the hole because it has to fill this up and strain the fuel and filter it. Now you can get one of these that is twice the size of this that has two of these like filter silos in them. These are all by gallons per hour is what these are done. This one is like five or not gallons per minute. I think this is five, five gallons. This one, it does me fine. I don't need, I got time. I'm never in a rush because I'm always early and I'm always planning ahead. But if you want to just pull up to a pump and just fire hundred gallons, yeah, it's going to take a lot longer with this. But if you take a little time, just a little time, a little extra time, even when I used to go to gas stations, I would 
put this in the in the fuel fill and I would sit there and fill this up fill this up fill this up fill this up and yeah I could be there for 30 minutes so I'm not in a hurry this South Florida fishing guy I don't know if he's in a hurry or whatever, but I mean, he's, you know, down there in La La Land with a dock behind his house living in the Keys. I don't know how some of these people do that. I can't live hardly in Jacksonville, Florida. Everything's so expensive anymore. That's the story. And even on uh, John Graviscus, Ship Shape TV, they've got videos about this. They poured sand, dirt, grass, uh, wood chips. They, they put everything in here. And then he took a small one and they filled it up full of water and he put it over his shorts like this. Filled it up with water and went like this. Nothing come out. Water will not pass through this. And it even tells you certain chemicals and additives won't pass through it either. Amazon tools of the trade page, which would really help out this channel because that's how I got this in the first place doing reviews hey if this helped you out a little bit I've got an entire playlist about maintenance on my engine my boat my trailer doing everything and I must talk about this thing at least once a year smash that like button because you gotta like learning something as simple as a 30 something dollar item to save your gas tank and your engine See you on the next one.